get a list of good stuff, I think. Well, I think we should I think we should go through stuff and, and separate it into stuff that's broken the lows or yep. and, and stuff that hasn't broken the lows. Um I agree. Because there's some good stuff in there too. I know, I know. I've been doing a list of really good stuff that, that we might want to get into. Like it's a lot of stuff that's holding pretty well. Yeah, um, and, now, and now's the time to kind of do that stuff, right? Like Yeah, exactly. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, fucking county weekend in crypto land. Morning, Jason. Um, um, I might just kick it off with a, a five minute thing and just and just let everyone know where I think we are. Sure. Go that. ahead. All right. So, in the broad strokes, Bitcoin is behaving like. It's just consolidating after a 4x, which is, so we've got, you know, roughly speaking, a trading range above here is bullish, below here is very bearish. I would say if Bitcoin crashes below here and stays there, the bull market's over. Um, I would say if we look at altcoins, altcoins are holding. So altcoins are at support. I am I am loath to sell anything at support because this is technically uh, a buy signal, and nothing's really. But there's some things that are lower than this this dump here. The ones that are lower than our first dump, they're on the chopping block. Is in in my opinion. Um, if we look at things like near. That's still higher than than it was. Um, Ondo still looks pretty good. Um, Sui, this one looks suspect. Link, still pretty good. Render, still pretty good. INJ, still pretty good. Solana, still higher than it was, but I don't like this price action over the weekend. I really, I thought that was a good opportunity for it to, uh, for it to bounce, and over the weekend we saw this, which was just nothing, and then a bleed out fast before the market opened. So, um, what should we be doing? We shouldn't be playing leverage trades at all right now until this until this settles down. Um, We've got no real feel for market direction here. This could still be a 50x bull market from here. But if it tanks below here, it's probably going to get ugly. And I think that has a lot to do with the stock market and the US dollar, which is starting to go up, which is a, which is a risk, risk off measure. You can see crypto tanked last time dollar index went up and we're seeing potential signs of that um overall meme coins completely in the ass because solana's taking it in the ass as long as solana's taking it in the ass meme coins aren't going to catch a bid but are you a seller or are you are you a buyer here Maurizio? of solana you're on mute You're on mute, dude. Got it. All right. Sorry, sorry. Um, kind of. If I have to buy, I wouldn't buy a full position. Um, still could go lower. Uh, I think. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna pass it over to you. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. All right. So, yeah, I've been watching. Let me just share my screen. Um. <laughs> So, and obviously this is this is the chart I showed you guys a while back in terms of from the halving, when is the bull run sort of expected and in terms of statistic, statistical speaking. So we are right here, right? We are in 63 day. Uh, we are behaving pretty similar to 
2016 and 2020 in a way. But then I mean, it's, I, I mean, it's not it, it, it's not out of the realms of possibilities. Oh, I also, definitely is not. Yeah, I also definitely don't think not. that we can draw too much into that because it's just four things, right? Like exactly, and exactly, it's just. But it's been a lot of stuff. Like this is the thing that I'm sort of. A lot of people now know this theory, right? Yeah, like I wouldn't. I, I I wouldn't put too much hope into it because just because you know markets are self adjusting and everyone knows. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. The good thing about it is that if we look at uh, Bitcoin, let me just. Uh... From the weekly, we still. Uh... So the, the only thing that I did that I do not like on this weekly close, right, uh, is that we basically close below the highest high of like the highest high that we have on November 22nd. Right. I, I, so, I think that's I, I don't think that's particularly relevant because like it's a long time ago. Like but a lot of traders are actually looking at that level as a sort yeah. of thing. Uh, and, I, I, I think and, everyone who had the opportunity to get it everyone who was a top buyer mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two has had an opportunity to get out at a decent price. So so, so I, I think, think yeah. yeah. I think yeah. you're right. I think you're right about it. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a highly chance, a possibility. That it could actually we retest these lows here, which is the 60, yep. 60 ish level. And and with that being said, obviously, if Bitcoin does that, alts are going to get just wreck, right? Like okay, in, in, okay, in, are, in you, any... are you sure about that? Because the last couple of days we're seeing alts holding up. Like for the first time, we're seeing everyone's just assuming that alts are gonna get giga nuked, but we're seeing alts holding up. You know, not depend. To, yeah, yeah. depend yeah. depend on what type of alts, because that not all alts are holding pretty strongly. So that's what I'm going to probably over the next like this afternoon. I'm going to start closing most of the stuff that are you know low conviction stuff, and then probably we're going to start positioning on things that have higher, uh, you know, chances of success, which are the ones that are holding pretty much. There, there are a couple of idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic things that happened over the weekend. There was a big hack on MKR and they market mm -hmm. dumped, uh, they market dumped like 10 million bucks of it. The hackers, um, they did it through Thorchain like they always do. Um, there was a big, uh, there was a big dump of AVAX as well. Mm. Yeah. No, but yeah, in terms of Ethereum, right? Um, the thing, um, obviously, Ethereum is the one that is holding better than, I, it, and I think is this is just the expectation of the ETF, right? Like this is obviously when the ETF uh, is going to start going the inflows, and you know what I mean. Like I think that's all the expectation about it. So, but this could potentially hit the next low. Um, so we do and, have. And we're, still a, in the we're in the middle of the trading range. Like it's definitely mm -hmm. a trading range. So the mm -hmm. the key thing for those guys who 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 are here, maybe for the first cycle, is after about twenty bars from the high, you start to think, well, we're not in a trend anymore. We're in a trading range. You know, at three or four bars from the old highs, we're still in a trend, probably. After about after about twenty bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. We'd we'd say we're in a trading range now. In the middle mm -hmm. of a trading range, we probably don't have an edge. At the top of a trading range and at the bottom of a trading range, we have an edge. So it's not necessarily that oh, it's going to lose here and go down to the next one. It's more just like we can expect it to be choppy and really, really hard to read. I agree. I agree. I don't think it's over. Definitely not. Uh, I still, I'm still bullish, right? Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of uh, downside short time i think uh which it could be a really good uh, opportunity to get position on 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 high conviction stuff that are you know what i mean like you know reduce the amount of coins and then just go a little bit uh, in 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 the better I the finrev is what it was all i've got to say it is like three weeks ago when finrev started getting short i was like fuck don't do that don't do that don't do that <laughs> fuck us you're gonna fuck it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. And then bang. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Finrub is actually doing very, very good. It's doing uh, great. Yeah. It's yeah. the only. It's the only thing I actually enjoyed looking at over the weekend. I know. I know. Because that's kind of the whole thing of Finrub, right? Let me. Uh, let me load that mine. Uh, oh, you can. Do you have yours? 
I'll show you everyone's better than mine. All right. So there you go. So this is the last 30 days in Bybit, uh, average of 50 vol, 45 vol, 40 vol, and 35 vol is between 14 and 10%, depending on the vol. Binance, we only have one vol running. And um this one is a this one is a data error. So so Binance is running at 12. Um BitGet is running better than I thought it would be. Um between 10 and 11, um, depending on those two vols. Um and DYDX is looking pretty good. Mm. Um 11 on 50 vol. So that's looking pretty good. And we're upgrading to DYDX V4 as soon as our servers land, they're in uh they're in shipping. Um, so what we want to see is 50, bigger than 45, bigger than 40, bigger than, and you can see when the market started shitting the bed, we started making money again. That's basically the way it works. Um, let's look at our signal performance. You can see that when we started to go and draw down out, this is our day one predictability, our correlation with next day returns, correlation with second day, third day, and fourth day. At the equity highs, this all started to bunch up. Um, but you can see that since here, our signals have definitely started to work better. Uh, that's Bollinger Momentum. Let's look at the average of them. That's a better, that's a better guide. So you, you can see clearly that our signals weren't working very well here. Still better than a coin flip, but not much better. Now that now they're coming back to we're more predictive than we've been for most of the last six months, for most of this run up. So th so this is when our equity performance was really, really good like all of this. So as long as we're in this range, we're in pretty good shape. Have you seen that stuff before? Marisa? Yeah, well, yeah, I saw I saw it last time that you that you show it, but I haven't let me, I haven't, let me show you uh, some, I haven't. Let me show you some more stuff. Um Let's look at June. Some of this might not be working right. Okay. So this is the uh, internal correlation uh, this month of our features. So Bollinger momentum is 0.25. So that's, uh, uh, that's, uh, a two and a half percent correlation with next day returns. That's good. This floor ceiling one is not doing particularly well. This is the average, is 0.15. Um, so that's that's all looking pretty pretty good. Where is our signal performance? Slippage report. Let's see how much slippage we're getting from exchange to exchange. Let's look at the last six months and let's look at. Okay, so we had a big amount of slippage here, which is indicated indicative of a big amount of profits because we get slipped a lot when we've got a lot of profits. Five bits. Looking at OK. KuCoin is the one that I'm not happy with. Interesting. Mm. And let's look at scatter plot. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this when we've got more time. I'll, I'll make you guys no and, and run through it. Tony Barrett, my 50-volt FinRev accounts up 12% in the last 12 days. Yeah, mine too. I've got a, uh, um, 
actually, let me show you one more. I've got a 90 vol. I've got a maybe 90. Just, maybe just reassure the KuCoin people that everything is okay. Um, I'm not happy with KuCoin. I've, I've got to say that I, I don't like reassure. It, it's still, it's working. It's making money. But it's la but it's lagging the others in this leg up. So I'm I I, I don't necessarily I want to tell the truth. I, I'm not happy with KuCoin. There's something go there's something going on with there's something going on with KuCoin. Their internal market makers are fucking yes. So uh, I put in ten grand on the thirteenth of March. I put in another sixty grand on the nineteenth of April, and I put in another twenty here on the twelfth of June. And uh, and so I put in ninety in total, and it's it's ninety six now. Um, so that's it. but you can see it's just starting to work, and this is at ninety volt. Yeah, guys, I, I'm I don't want to I don't want to tell you guys something that's not the truth. I, I'm not happy with KuCoin. Um, maybe stay on at the end of the call, and Jason, let I'll dig into the KuCoin. Um, I'll dig in. I'll dig into the KuCoin uh, positions with you. Yeah, my Finrev has got hardly anything long at the moment. It's just got TRX. I, I think that I think that has to be our north star here, guys. Just just tell the truth. So sorry, let me hand that back to Maurizio and you guys. Sorry. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. No, that's it. So yeah, no, I I I agree. I think uh we're gonna have a little bit of a of a down, perhaps. Uh but let me show you what I'm looking at in order to get position uh if it start going lower. I think we still have good uh opportunities, right? So So what um, do you like? This is the time when everyone is not yeah. paying attention to what do you like? Exactly. So I'm doing a list of pretty much everything that is holding. Uh, so obviously, pendle things on on the def, uh, We're on pendle, oh, no, pendle. but uh, let me add it here because obviously I added. Yeah, pendle is nice. so that strong, man. Nice. Like, yeah. yeah. So considering what's happened and where they are, boy, and they're and this is the growing. yeah. This is the weekly. This is the weekly chart. So as you can see, there's barely like it was a lot of uh, wiggliness, but it's holding up at those levels very, very so strong. What, what Maurizio is looking there for is an undamaged chart, a, a chart that I could show to my four year old and say, "Is that an uptrend or a downtrend?" And she'd go, "It's an uptrend, Daddy." You know, one that you can see from space that you don't. What I what I call is when you have to when you have to take your glasses off and go like that to see is it an uptrend or a downtrend. It's probably not an uptrend. It's probably a trading range. That's usually the way that I think about it. Is you should you should just let go, go blink and go. Wow, I want that. And if you have to go, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe, then no, nah, there's no maybes in this kind of thing. Perfect. Yeah, correct. So we already in Pendle, but if if no one is in Pendle, I think this is you know the fact that it didn't go down. I think this is a pretty strong. Uh, I think it's really strong. Time. Yeah, to get position. Same thing as Ondo. Same thing. Uh, yeah, we had a regular retracement. It's kind of the first retracement that Pen like Ondo had, but it's still pretty bullish. Like this thing is like not going to stop, uh, pretty much. And I think it's the fact that um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Ondo is going to be the new infrastructure for what BlackRock is doing and all that sort of stuff. So might be, might not. Really, or is that bullshit? Don't know. I have no idea. It is, it is, it is rumors and things like that, you know, that that could be, but then I don't know if that's going to be that. Yeah. In terms of the R RWA, this could be the, the leading coin to the RWAs, but um, yeah. But the thing is, he's holding pretty good. Technology okay, good. Look, look, uh, yeah. Jason's got a great comment. Um, is the standout really. Bring out the chat. I mean, Ton looks amazing. Yeah, Ton, we are on Ton as well. So, so, uh, yeah, uh, all right, perfect. So, let me just add Ton as well. It's just I, I didn't add things that 
we already had, but I know some people that are not in some positions yet. So I think let's load it up. Load it up. Uh, definitely Ton looks pretty, pretty. Yeah, we, we enter here and definitely is going up. Uh, Ton is very, very strong. So those are, those are one of my favorites, the ones that we already are in, but things that we're not in yet. Um, ENS. So ENS, very, that's, very... That's the Ethereum domain name thing, right? Exactly. That's the ENS thing. Uh, obviously, this is going to be very correlated to Ethereum, right? But the fact that it's holding pretty on these levels, I think you can actually see uh, people's willingness to... I think this is Ethereum beta. This is people taking bets on it. I agree. I agree. I have some Ethereum betas as well, like LDO, same thing. That will be on oh, Ethereum yeah. so, beta. So, so let's list all the Ethereum betas while we're here and let's explain mm -hmm. that concept. So we've got LDO, we've got Ethereum Classic, we've got Pepe. What else have we got? Uh, we got uh, ARB, we got uh, ARB, o OP. Um, I mean, I had a list of those things here. Okay, so OP uh, the worst of the Ethereum betas. We have CAS as well. Um, ARB like well. shit too. That would if yeah. if you're holding that, that one's that's one to go. So. Uh, so we have uh, LDO already, uh, ARB. But ARB, I'm, I'm looking at the inflows as well, and I was putting this on, on, on the list. It could be pretty pretty risky from the better side, but I think it's, it's not a bad idea. Um, I'll add it into like the low, high ri yeah, low risk will be on the top, high risk will be sort of on the bottom. But yeah, I don't like the chart much. Like if That's, I go in, I'll you're definitely... looking at it on Bybit. Do you want to just load it up on Binance? There's more data there. It doesn't look so good, man. No, this one doesn't look good at all, man. At all. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, okay, so the thing with Ethereum betas and betas in general is they're just, they're going to overperform, then underperform. Exactly like Dog with Hat compared to Solana. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like Peppy compared to Ethereum. Um, it, so it's it's just like using leverage. I wouldn't necessarily read too much into the charts um, because they're dependent on some other thing. I I I don't know. I don't know a, a beta play is by definition a, a riskier play. I don't know mm -hmm. how you know I'd be to go to riskier plays here. I'd be I'd be looking for I, I, I'm looking for simple things that are already working, not like. Not like things that are going to smash it out of the park. If we get if, if we get a raging bull market, that's gonna that's gonna fifty x right. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I don't know if it's the play to no. to be betting on fifty x this year. No, no. I, I'd, I like to, so I'd, I'd like to yeah. see people hit a few hit a few doubles, hit a few triples. Just mm -hmm. what? Just keep working out of trouble. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. On on that note, we have I have uh, on my list. Uh, R and R, as you know, in the AI space, definitely this one is one of my favorites. To okay, start it, banking like it's held up above mm -hmm. that first drop lows, so it's still in reasonable shape compared to its peers. Correct, correct. So I like that one. Um, I like FTM as well. FTM is it is holding pretty well from those levels as well. Um, so yeah, I agree. Uh, obviously Pe Pepe is one of the favorites, right? Like Pepe is just holding pretty strong. Pepe is Pepe is really good. I mean, yeah, Pepe. Yeah, I, I I feel like if we get a bull market, and if we get retail arrive to take our bags off us, Pepe is one of those obvious no brainer frog coin. Um, I want to have a meme coin in my portfolio. What's one that I think is funny? Everyone thinks Pepe is funny. It's it's like a generic election season. Pepe has some broad connection to Trump and I'm based for saying Pepe and posting Pepe's and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so I'm, I'm holding I think, like, I think yeah, pretty good. I, I'm, I'm, hold, yeah. I'm holding strong in that. 
Yeah, I mean, we already have an opposition. We already have opposition on Pepe, but if 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 no one like we just sort of highlighting what would be the biggest things to 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 hold if you are not holding anything. Uh, we're gonna be closing a bunch of like low stuff, uh, low conviction stuff today that is not doing great. Just yeah, we've been de-risking for the last week, closing stuff. I think we're gonna close more stuff. I was gonna hold. I, I was holding to see how this weekly uh, chart looked like in some of the coins, but um. Yeah, I think uh, in terms of uh, AI, I think Ocean uh, Ocean doesn't look that great, but it held that pretty, like in terms of the weekly. But the chart, um, I, think, I think that one's, but I, I think that one's below. It's 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 crossed cr it's crossed mm -hmm. below its April lows. Um, I think you'd have to call that a coin flip. I wouldn't I wouldn't be rushing in to jump into that. What do we like? What do we like in AI coins? There's what Fed AR. I've got a I've got an overweight position in AR. Um, fair, yeah, so these fair. are all beta. So, mm -hmm. so I, I, I highlighted Fed, obviously, and Ocean as well. Uh, but then, if you're not, let's go through the positions that we hold at the moment because I think INJ is holding pretty well. So, I think INJ looks still, okay. yeah. So, from the AI perspective, uh, the is INJ in AI that, coin? Nobody it does have it does have some uh, uh thing like the infrastructure could be used for it. So so it could sort of have different narratives on that one. So, so once AI goes, I think this one will go as well. I, I think AI is probably one excuse me. You know no me. So yeah, I think I so AI could be could be a really good uh, way to get position, especially, you know, with, uh, I was saying last week that uh, with NVIDIA being now the biggest company uh, in the world, stuff like that, the narrative and all the stuff that goes, you know, could, it could it could easily go very, very strong once so the market we have is strong. Uh, kudos, that's, that's below its lows. That looks like it's just bleeding out. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about AR? AR, I still like AR. Uh, I like it. Held, yeah, held that pretty well in terms of the weekly. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm still liking this one. I'm still like yeah. liking this one. How, what do you think about the uh, AOS? Is the one that I really don't AI like. AIOZ, right? Moment. Yeah, AIOS. Oh, that's fine. That, that looks yeah. terrible. We got to get the yeah. fuck. The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Come here. Come on. Sit. Down. Sleep. Sleep. Down. Sleep. Stay. Good go. Sorry, guys. Um, IOS has to go, dude. That's yes, that's I agree. There's a horrible weekly close. Uh so I Think it's gonna take a long, a long way to to recover. So yeah, the, we're gonna start just closing that one. Just show the daily there, please. So what we can see is really clear. Change that to daily. We can see is clearly signs over the last week that every time it's bounced, it's attracted. Just zoom in on the last week. Every time it's bounced, it's attracted sellers. Every time it's bounced, it's attracted sellers. Every time it's bounced, it's attracted sellers. That means there's someone stuck in there who's trying to work out of a position. So mm. when you, when you see that, it's not like this chart pattern is bearish. It's like there's a guy who's stuck in this position who wants to get out. What you're looking for for signs to get back into something like that is signs that that guy's finished his selling. So usually that comes with a guy getting fucked really bad in a really obvious way. Mm -hmm. Um, David. Do people get excited and drive up coin prices at the beginning of the month? Yes, there are strong seasonality effects around the close of months and also around the close of weeks and also around the close of days. And there's valid fundamental reasons for doing that. If you think there's a reason that people might behave differently at different times of day, that they might, for instance, do their trading around this time of day, which is a reasonable thing to think, or they might trade differently on weekends than weekdays, or they might do tax loss harvesting when tax loss mm -hmm. time comes around. 
there's there's um, predictable flows um, that are quite strong edge. Um, an easy way to look at that seasonality is in villadata.app. They have it all. They have it all there. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, yeah, those are the ones that I'm really. Um, I'm still with. Let's have a look at with because with is with not looks brutalized. You shouldn't be. And with. I, and it I was... think it's is is because Solana is getting is is getting very very. Did you weak. see that? Um, my buddy Antoine tracks. Uh, uh, what's his name? Fucking Ansem's wallets, Zion's wallets for me, and he said that Ansem. Mm -hmm. Ansem sent a, a 11 million bucks to Binance. So Ansem is out. And he was like the whiff cheerleader, the hat stays on guy. That's probably right. Yeah. If, he, if, so. if, he's, if he's out, it's over for that shit. Yeah. So I think we're gonna gonna start reducing a lot of risk and and you know getting getting ready for getting on the biggest stuff. Uh BNB is still um still BNB looks amazing. I, I mean looks Fuck, if only we could send every owner of 70% of the fucking supply to jail for four months so they can't sell. Like, that'd be great. <laughs> You'll fuck off. Leave your keys at the door, at the gate. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, I think BNB could be very good in the next, like, you know, in the next, like, it hasn't actually dropped much from these levels. So, and from the weekly perspective, it looks amazing. Like, it looks really, really good. So, so uh, Jason's asking about ENA. ENA doesn't look good at all. But I have a look at ENA. But it's it, it's so new, and it's such a compelling narrative. I'm loath to sell this one. I've got a big position in it. That I bought yeah, me too. Buck, that I bought at a buck. Me too. Me too. Um, there's two I'm, ways I'm, of playing. I'm not selling this one. No, me me neither. Um, there is uh. I was yeah. Let me find it. I was I was looking at the USDE sort of um, progression in terms of how is it doing, and it looks okay. And the fact that Ina um, or Athena actually now is going to launch their own their own uh, blockchain, right? Because now they they're working on, on on top of Ethereum, but now they're going to launch their own sort of network. Is that going to be good? Is that going to be bad? Don't know. But the fact it could. Uh, Definitely give it a little bit of a boost. So okay. even though, yep. No, no, you go. So even though I don't like the chart, I like the project. So I'm happy holding. So I'm, I don't know. I'm with I'm with you there. I think the project mm. is real fifty x potentials. If we're in a bull market, I think I think there's very few. Okay, so while we're here, let's look at uh, um, CRV because the founder is this fucking imbecile from. Russian guy lives in Melbourne. We took out a uh, took out a forty million dollar loan to well, he took out a hundred million dollar loan to hundred million dollars worth of collateral to buy a house in Melbourne, and uh, for forty million bucks because he wanted to rich near it, and uh, and he got liquidated predictably. And his coin since he took out that loan has been trading down only. He got liquidated, so he is out of the game. After that, you can reasonably expect everything to start turning around. I so think so. It had a good comeback. Like, it came back. Like, this is the weekly. Obviously, it doesn't look like this, but let me show you the daily on this one. The comeback on CRB was hugely, it was, it was like, yeah. So, I mean, that was, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, Robert. Who, who posted the question in the chat? That looks really quite bullish. But for that to for that to start running and running and running and running, we need a strong bull narrative because nobody mm -hmm. likes PRB right now. Like it's just bag holder city. So if you think about what a coin with a lot a coin at all time lows is, like it's at literally all time lows, it means that every single person who's ever owned the coin is a bag holder. That's a heavy weight. You know, do you want to buy ENA, which is brand new, no history, or do you want to buy this thing where everyone's fucked? Where everyone feels like a dickhead for owning it. I don't know. It's a stretch. Mm. I mean, it looks good, but it's a stretch. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I It's in my list of things to 
being like Let's to watch. ZRO because it's the new hot launch, right? Which one? ZRO, layer zero. Ah, uh, layer zero. Yep. So so it, it had their launch last week. It popped up to five bucks fifty and uh and it and it's bleeding out now until it finds until it finds a bottom. When we find a bottom there, I think that's that's one that I've been looking at for a long I've been waiting for for a long time. So this was a this is probably the last of the big airdrops that we'll see. So they they were gonna do an airdrop, but everyone farmed their airdrop so much that they said, fuck it, you're gonna have to pay to participate in our airdrop. Mm, so okay. Anyone missed at it. Because the airdrops people just sold anyway. Like that's just a terrible fucking thing. You give away 20% of your supply to cunts who just sell mm -hmm. it to you anyway. Mm -hmm. Like what the fuck? So I'll keep an eye on this one because definitely when this could be that uh, I got on the list of, of interesting things to hold for, you know what I mean? Like we we'll start getting out of stuff that we have low conviction now and start getting into the the new stuff. And I think that could be a really good play for, for our portfolio. Miles, what I what I have for for the ZRO project is basically they did three rounds of raising. Let me just show you what I Uh, what's that? Uh, yeah. Layer zero. So what I like is the seed round. It's the, they did a seed round in 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 April, and then they did a series A with all these really big people, like 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 these. Are you like uh, are you are you sharing your screen, Scott? Oh, or... sorry. Okay, you, you can see that. Yeah, now I can see. It. Yep. Okay, so the people who invested in the series A backed up again and invested in this in in, in the later in the later rounds. I really mm -hmm. like to see that, um, and. This is just a. This is just one of these classic um, VC pump and dump things that that the the tech is really good. It's in wide use. It's not like a vaporware thing, and the tech lets you swap swap between chains, which is like a real ball ache of a thing. Mm -hmm. Um. I just suspect that, that that there's going to be a concerted attempt to manipulate and pump this one to the moon in a bull market. That's that's really my that's really my feeling for it. Is there are very few coins that have a narrative that can support a fifty billion dollar valuation? Like a meme coin can support a billion or two billion or five billion or whatever in a in in a bull market, but but there's very few things that can support a fifty billion dollar valuation. And so these VCs have already invested a billion dollars in it, so they want. At, they they want at least a ten x to get out of it, mm -hmm. so they so they're sense. stuck and they're stuck unless they pump it to ten billy. That's that's my gut feeling for it really. Um, but I mm -hmm. want to see it stop bleeding out first. Definitely, yeah, and, definitely. I think I think Ethereum will be the key here, and and Bitcoin obviously. Uh, you know they're gonna start. So. Well, okay, so so let's dig into the, the sentiment is really bad. Mm hmm. That's what you want to see. What we want is we want a bull market and we want the sentiment to be really bad within the context of that bull. So let's talk a little bit about the leverage trading workshop and, and what 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 it really is when we when we're doing that. We're looking to seasonally come in three, probably three times a year. And we're looking to pick our entry point and we're looking to pick it right and go big and then gradually scale, scale back. So we're looking for a bull market, which I think we're still in. We're looking for sentiment to be broadly and completely negative. Like, like, like we're looking for everyone to be hateful, like not wanting to open up the charts. We're looking for the last stage of the drop to be the scariest. So we've got all three of those so far, right? Agree? Mm -hmm. The last thing we're looking for is for it to quieten the fuck down and get boring. And I think that's where we're. I think that's where we're stuck. You know, on Saturday and Sunday, I was thinking, oh, maybe this could be it because it's so it was so sideways. 
I know, I know. Low liquidity. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, me too. I thought maybe it could be. Maybe it could be it that could spike, but I want it to quieten the fuck down. I think. I, I think mm. we're. Probably, I think we're probably a week away, at least. Mm. The only thing as well is a lot of people waiting for the elections and stuff like that. That's something that uh, you know, I don't know if. Uh, what's your take on uh, things Can bumping bump. prior or after or you know what I mean? Like if it's going to be volatile, that's my take in volatile, volatility well, before I, that thing. I want volatility to quieten down first. Mm -hmm. um, there's an interesting question in the chat from Ken. Um, mm -hmm. If you're in the if if you're in the US, um, Hyperliquid is a perfectly good exchange. Like it's the one that I use. It's really good. Um, I have zero confidence that the current US government won't find a way to mess it up. Well, there's that's a fucking surprise because the guy who's running your country is fucking barely conscious. Like he's just a stumbling, stuttering, duttering old fuck. Like I'm a lefty, and I look at I look at you guys putting Biden up as like that's your best fucking guy. Like fuck off. Like that's embarrassing. Um, and, and, you know, I've become a single issue non-voting felon. Like if Trump's going to, you know, compared to Biden, like everything's relative, like I think Trump's an asshole, but, but he's got to be better than Biden and he's, and he's on, on crypto side. So he's politically astute. Um, it's like, they're both, honestly, they're both pretty embarrassing, like candidates to be putting, putting up, like, but I think Trump for crypto is definitely the better of them. And I think Trump's got the election in the bag too. I think he's going to win because it, it, yeah, I was, I, I was firmly in the Trump's going to destroy democracy camp a couple of years ago, but I know you guys are doing a good job at destroying democracy, whichever way you, whichever guy you choose. So I think you'll probably, I think you'll probably manage to, I think you'll, probably managed to fuck it up no matter who who chooses what and uh yeah and i don't want to get political on here like like i'm like outside the u.s politics are just opaque to australians like like hillary clinton would be in the far right in australia or new zealand or pretty much anywhere else. Yeah. so like what you guys think is radical left wing just isn't it like just isn't like your right wing is like saudi arabia <laughs> interesting interesting yeah I'm, i mean and and you know you your politics guys like it's fucking nuts like i don't want to i don't want to get into american politics like you guys are you guys are fucking crazy i hope it all works out for you i'm a big fan of america <laughs> you can do better um mean coins what do you think right here Meme coins, uh, ooh, horrible. However, um, we have um, Mock, which is holding pretty okay. Let me just go through a few ones that we're holding. Um, I think Mog is probably the standout of it, right? I know, I know, I know. Yeah, we went uh, in probably around here. So we almost kind of break even, but the fact that it's just going up as well, um, it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm still holding Foxy. Still, yeah, Foxy doesn't look bad. Um, oh, it's okay. Yeah, it looks pretty. It hold pretty much on these levels that it's always been. But uh, obviously, we're a little bit on a drawdown. But I really like Foxy. But in terms of the, um, let me just load at my meme dashboard. Give me one second. Let me let me bring it over. Give me one second. Where is it? Um, Joe Bowden took it in the ass. That's almost looking like a buy, like a little bit of strength. It's like right back to like seventy million dollar market cap or something, something where it's actually appealing to buy. Uh, this is my meme coin. Okay, let's go through it. Let's look at Turbo because I haven't looked at I haven't looked at any. Uh, of them. So, so what's the strongest? Of, so the strongest right now is MAGA. Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, so all just, these, all these MAGA coins. Um, Martin Shkreli, the farmer bro, he launched a fake Trump coin, 
and all the MAGA coins, including Trump, got it right in the ass for, for that. I agree. I agree. So I've been, I've been, I don't know much, but I haven't done much research in this one, but I've been sort of looking at uh, Apple. Uh, oh, no, dude, they're advertising on Google. And, That's a huge red yeah. flag. You can't so buy, you can't buy anything that advertises on, on billboards, man. That's, that's <laughs> not a... You, we, you, you can't recommend that. That's, like, bad. No, this is... Uh, this is shit, man. And, and look, look, if you look at the dashboard, right, everything, like, in terms of Bitcoin... Yeah, um, it's all below. And it yeah, should be, so, too, because they're high beta players. Correct. 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 This one is uh, Turbo. Turbo is the only one that is... Turbo actually had a pretty good recovery on Friday. I like. I, I mean, Turbo looks pretty good. I'm concerned that the market cap is really quite high. Like Retardio, so. Retardio is a fifteen to twenty five million dollar market cap. Turbo's a like a four hundred million dollar market cap. I'm concerned that it doesn't have the upside. Mm -hmm. that That's Martin Shkreli should indeed get hit by a bus. Smirking little fucking comb over weasel guy. Thinks he's a gangster because he went to jail, motherfuckers. I can tell you, I've spent a lot of time in jail, and that guy was fucking minding his piece of cues in jail. I'll tell you that for real. <laughs> yeah, he was a quiet, quiet boy sitting in the corner, like counting down the hours till he got locked in his cell at night. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, people don't like uh, people like that in jail. Dude. People don't like people who sm think they're smart in jail. They don't like him that at all. Oh, it's gotta be tough. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's gotta be tough. Tough on that. But yeah. So, uh, what else looks good? Um, so let's go through. Uh, so, tur so, so turbo, the price action is good. Yeah, uh, it looks pretty good. But I wouldn't get in that because it's already it, it, it's already high. Um, you can you can actually see sellers obviously now waiting to get out. So yeah. probably if this goes up maybe it's a lot of it will provide a lot of liquidity for people to get out and it is going to drive price down i that 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 could be my take on this so one long miles to, to answer your question retardi alpha is mispricing if you it, it, if you value means on the attention economy how much attention do they have how much mind share do they have how many influences are shilling them i think retardio is criminally undervalued I mean, for a, for a coin that's trading where it is, that's held up pretty well in all the fuckery. Um, uh, I think there's so many big people behind it. Smolting, um, Ansem, Trading Axe, like there's all the big influences are behind this. They've all got a bag. Um, they're not selling. Um, uh, I think it's unusual and unique. And and it's got its own culture. Like there's definitely like like it's not just like this is a picture. It's like this is the culture of Retardio. Um, mm -hmm. I, 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 I Retardio is my single biggest bet in crypto right now. So that, so that tells you what my single biggest bet is. Um, I like Tramp. Um, I think it's a toss up between Tramp and Marga, which which becomes the conviction meme coin. I'd be prepared to flip if I saw evidence that one was definitely becoming, you know, if one if one definitely became if Donald Trump started screaming out either of those at at mm. at these, I'd be into it. So Tramp got fucked with that Shkreli bullshit. That was the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are pretty much on the in uh, on the entry. That we did a while back with uh Tramp, which is still yeah, good, I'm, but yeah, everything I'm holding, got fucked. I'm holding Tramp. Hmm. So that's pretty much what we have in terms of uh uh let's have a look at lady. I was looking at lady. Oh no, it's horrible, man. Like I okay, so, gone through. Yeah, um let's look at Brett, because that's one we don't look at much. And and let's look at Michi. Because that's one we don't look at much. Yeah, bread looks really good. Like looks bread. pretty good, actually. Shit, X looks really good, man. Um undamaged. Mm -hmm, un definitely. Un moisturized in its lane, flourishing. Um I'm just seeing maybe it's a only a matter of time before Trump gets involved in some meme coin and it tanks. Yeah, but it'll pump first before it tanks. You want to be getting so yeah. all these meme coins you want to get out while the going's good. These are not mm -hmm. 
these are not, I'm going to leave them to my grandchildren, generational wealth bullshit. These are like smash and grabs. Correct. Correct. This is not okay. like long-term stuff. Yeah. So Mog, PopCat, let's look at PopCat and Mog. Because I, I think Mog is potentially the... I mean, PopCat is a good meme. It's a cat that pops. Yep. Let's see Binance. Oh, Binance does have PopCat. Interesting. You, it, it's a, it's an on-chain thing. You might want to load it on Mexi. Uh, uh, this is a Mexi. Mexi is okay, loading a lot of, uh, yeah. yeah. Is, uh, I mean, that looks okay. Yeah, that looks okay. Let me let me load it in Gate get, get Ah. Well, I'd I'd look at them on deck screener because it's more it's it's more relevant because these these early coins they live and die mm. not on what happens once they list on exchanges they list on on they live and die on what happens to the guys who put a thousand bucks in when it was a, at two hundred k market cap and now they now they've got ten million bucks when those guys sell they they tank so that's why you really want to look at all these early stage memes as as deck screener type things. Load it up. So it's a six month old coin. And you can see the early stages, those early guys like way back. Mm -hmm. Those are the guys who've, who've really done well. Definitely. What about Mog? Not bad. Better than the others. Yeah. Looks pretty strong. Yeah, obviously, retracement, but it looks okay. Definitely looks okay. I'm, I mean, we would expect to see this in a market downturn. Oh, definitely. Oh, um, definitely. Do, do definitely. you want to have a quick look at Retardio while we're here? Sure. Just below support. Mm. It looks like a lot of uh, but very small amounts. Interesting. But we've still yeah, got really good liquidity there. There's still. Yeah. I think this one's going to come good. Yeah. yeah I, the fact I think Todd is right. You want to wait for a little move on this before you get involved. Mm. But I think I, it's ready to buy as soon as we get as soon as we get a little move, I think that's probably a runner. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you really like? Uh not really. In terms of memes, <laughs> I was looking at it last week. Uh this Andrew Tate coin. Uh oh, have you, have you, that's that's so but it went oh. up like this is so stupid, man. Like and uh, well, let's uh, put mother while we're here that a yeast stupid bitch. But so it's very clear that this guy will rug the coin. If you think Andrew Tate is your friend, you're fucking wrong. I know, if, man. I know. If you so believe that, some people I, asking you're me, like, stupid, you're just too stupid to breathe. You shouldn't. You don't deserve any money. You're going to get it taken from you. Like there's just nothing. There's nothing good oh, about trusting a guy like that with your money because he's never he's never been trustworthy. Everything he's ever done, he's stolen. It's like. No, definitely. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, it's just what about so Mother? Because because it was the Iggy Azalea coin. This one? Yep. Mother Iggy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So as soon as that went hyped, they started dumping it. This one might mm. go. Again. This one might go again. This oh, one might go again. This yeah. One might Dude, so much stuff like yeah, I mean it's not yeah, it's one of those things. It's a casino man, like definitely, definitely. It's, yeah, it stinks. All right, man. Pretty cool, try uh pretty cool call today, actually.
I'll let him yeah, know. yeah. Um, Ian, so do you have anything you want to you want to say? Yo, Sorry, no, I'm just but, to yeah, no, no, that's uh, that's great. Let me just get the. Yeah, do I still hair. like Todd? Says, do I still like dog? Um, dog with hat? No, I think it's uh, overvalued. I think Ansem sold out. I think it's embarrassing for the people who shield it really hard. I think I think it's days done. Share screen. Yeah, no, just a, a really quick one with with Bitcoin. Like I see lots of stuff in like the one hundred X club about like, you know, we're crashing, it's all over if we don't get this like this real definitive type of talk. And I think that the more that we get into probabilities, the 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 better. Yeah. But if we look at the monthly chart of bitcoin okay and if we go like that was the first of december last year so since january bang we've just been going up so, so bitcoin, we have this bitcoin looks like it's consolidating after a forex mm -hmm. but Absolutely. altcoins altcoins look like they've been raped in prison so so that's the, i think that's where the the difference in opinion happens Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, if we go back even like even further, we have accumulation. Then we come into a bottom. Bang. We get a bit of a sell off. We have reaccumulation. Bang. We're back up again. And now we're reaccumulating. And this blue line that represents the just the middle of this trading range that we that we know that we're I, in. I think that's really I think that's really like the correct way to look at it. Like we're in the middle of the trading range. What do you expect to see in the middle of a trading range? You expect it to be choppy. You expect it to be hard to read. You also expect lots of, it's going one up day, then one down day, or two up days, two down days. Lots of hard to read price action. Lots of frustration, because that's what a trading range is. It's frustrating people, right? Like, yeah. I don't know about you, but I feel frustrated. So I think I think this is the probably the best analysis we've had on the call so far. It's just simple. We're in the middle of a trading range. What can you do? And keep your fucking hands off the steering wheel for a start. Mm. Mm. You probably not make too many bold moves. No day trading. Exactly. I think. Just exactly. chill. Just chill. Our day, our day will come. Nice. Uh, with, what do I think about cat with hat and FJB? Never, never heard of them, but they just sound like laying copies of dog with hat, right? Like, like just like a me too cashing. Like, there has to be some coolness about a me, and like that's not really cool enough for people to base their identity around. Is like a dog with hat. Like there's there's another one that's in the same category. There's cock in you and there's black cock because the black cock is always going to be bigger, right? Whoa. It's like a one night <laughs> joke. <laughs> like like I mean, guys, that that shit isn't going to work. Don't be lame. Nice, right? Okay, yes. then is yes, the uh, is the replay of the call for the last time, and I hope to see as many people as possible on the uh, the leverage trading course that's coming up. I am buzzed for this starting. Yeah, it's going to be excellent, and uh, I yeah. think it's going to happen at the time too. So, can you just? Yeah, post I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, and I think if, if if I think learning how to do leverage before things happen, I think it's a really good <laughs> smart move, man. You know what I mean? Like before you start doing leverage, you learn in this type of markets when it's low, like. When it's not exactly. much to do, I mean, and then you know, and then when things come, yeah. Early in the call, you know, there's two, three times a year, and we sharpen our tools and we practice in this boot camp, and then when conditions come together, bang, we make the maximum. Um, yeah, the YDX V4, the servers, uh, we've been tracking them on the truck. Um, they hit our new secure rack. Um, we decided to put them in Australia because we were confident that that was a place that would be hard to bribe their way physically into um, a very high secure data center. And uh, and we've got another backup in another place. So, so uh, that's all going pretty well. Nice. Great stuff. All right, everyone. Awesome call. See you. Bye, guys. Ta -da.